Selena Salo asks uh, about my opinion on biphobia within the LGBT community. Um, a lot of people who are homosexual assume that if you're bi, then you're actually gay and you're just calling yourself bi to appease heterosexuals. You know, I have seen that a lot. And I think that's really unfortunate. There are a lot of people out there that are bi, and they're marginalized by both straight people and gay people. I think bisexuals probably have the hardest time in this area, because either they feel they have to lie, or they can tell the truth and then be told by everyone that they're lying. You know, that's that's got to be a miserable. That's got to be miserable. That's got to really, really suck. Um, I, I've I've seen with my own eyes uh, and heard with my own ears just so many times when uh, I remember when being in, in, in youth groups. Uh, you know, after I came out of the closet, I was in some, uh, some gay youth groups, uh, support groups. And... When the guys would get together, it's just like someone would, would just slightly talk about liking women and they'd go, Ew, fish! Or something on that degree. And it's just like, no, no, you, you can't be serious. You can't really blah, blah, blah. And it's just, you know, this very condescending attitude. And... And I, I'll, I'll still see this today from people that are around my age. I'll still see this, this element of, you know, if someone mentions that they like women... A guy who is into guys says that they like women. The response is, ew, still. And you don't see this. I mean, it's not something that you see them. They don't say this in the general public. They say it when they're around just other gay guys. And I think that's really unfortunate. It really is. I... You know, and obviously in the straight community, they're, they're going to get the same thing. Obviously, in the straight community, they're going to get the element of, well, if you like, if, you know, so we're talking about a guy, you know, well, if you like women, then then you're not gay. You know, they, they'll say that sort of thing flat out. You know, um, and then a lot of straight people will try to use bisexuals as some sort of reasoning why, uh, oh, well, well, being gay is a choice because look at bisexuals. They don't say it that way, but it's just like, you know, well, the, it's like the, the people that they try to bring up, you know, as examples of, of why being gay is a choice. And it's just like, um, no, you're just talking about someone that's bisexual. Um, that person isn't gay, they're bi. You know, so it's just, uh, yeah, they, bisexuals get, get used as, as ammunition. And it sucks. It sucks. Um. But you know, I, I can see, I, I can see how, uh, honestly, I, I think it would be a much, much, much harder to be a straight man than it is to be a gay man in our society. As a gay man, I have to deal with with some amount of persecution, you know, some amount of, of I, I, you know, I have to deal with negative attitudes towards gay people. And of course, I, I haven't lived in some podunk town where you really do have true homophobia, so I can't really say that there. But you know, if you're living in a, in a in a larger city or you're living in an, in an area that isn't, you're not living in the Bible Belt. Um, it really is easier as a gay man than what someone has to go through as a straight man. I just I look at all this shit that 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 straight guys have to go through, and I'm just. I know that's not what this was supposed to be about. I just, I, I, I feel sorry for straight guys. I, I do. I, I feel really fucking sorry for them because of the thing that straight guys are taught they're supposed to be to meet up with, with women that are taught the way they're supposed to be and all these rules that come from it and all these games that get played and I don't see those games being played much in the gay male community and things seem to be a lot more direct. So, you know, I really, really do feel sorry for straight guys. Um, let me see. Uh, another question that Selena had asked was, uh, she said, well, oh, another would be about how gay men 
who are fat but aren't bears aren't really accepted into the gay community. One of my best friends is a bit of a queen, but he's overweight, so most of the guys within the LGBT community who tries to interact uh, with uh, treat him with disdain because he's overweight and feminine. That is definitely... Uh, that definitely occurs in the gay community. Um, there is a lot of fat shaming. There is a lot of... The bears, in some ways, are kind of the rebels of the gay community. Um, because they're daring to go totally against what the majority of gay culture shoves out. Um, you know, you're supposed to you're supposed to be thin, you're supposed to focus on looking young, you're supposed to focus on having just this very, very specific sort of look. Um, not fashion-wise, but as far as the way your body and face uh, is supposed to look. And yeah, I, I think that's a shame. I think that's a shame. Uh, I do admit to my biases that um, I think um, I mean my biases is towards the whole facial hair kind of thing but if someone can't grow facial hair they can't grow facial hair I mean so someone that that has those attributes they're they're going to have a hard time they are because it's like they're not they're they're in between they're they're not they're not they don't have this certain look that goes against the gay stand the the gay male standards to be a bear and they don't have enough to be the conformity so they're just sort of stuck somewhere in the middle and that's that sucks that would suck um i i don't know what advice to give i don't um I just say, just keep pushing forth, keep pushing forward, and know that not everyone is closed-minded, not everyone has the same attractions, um, you know, um, I mean, as much as I talk about my whole, the, the whole liking of body hair and facial hair, there's people that just, you know, I may not understand it, but there's people that just naturally have, they're just, they find it horrible. They, they find the whole idea of, of any of that stuff horrible. And is it genetic? Who knows? Who knows? Is it cultural? Who knows? But people have their tastes. And, you know, I, I know that there are a number of... There, I've seen on tons of websites, you know, I think of like Bigger City and, and just a number of places where people are mainly focusing on that sort of look. They want us someone's heavy. They want someone smooth. They want certain looks. You know, make sure your friend doesn't feel like nobody's going to like them. They, he may he may get this feeling from the mainstream gay community, but no, just, he just needs to know that uh, <laughs> there are there are there are people that will like him. There are people that are not going to make fun of him. There are people that go specifically for people like him. So, just. He probably already knows this. I guess you're just wanting me to talk about the fact that these prejudices exist in the gay community, and they most left definitely do. And, uh... I... I'm ashamed that I have had... I've had some of my own prejudices in some of those areas at times. Um... You know, because of my whole, like I said, my whole facial hair bias and body hair bias. So, you know, I don't, I don't feel very good about knowing that, that about those elements of my prejudices, but they're there. Um, now, I mean, I don't care how someone looks as far as friends. If I'm just being friends with someone, I'm not trying to be intimate with someone. I don't care how you look. I just care how you treat me. I care how you treat others. You know, you could treat me like gold, but if I see you treating other people like crap over stupid shit, I'm gonna be like, you know, I, I'm I'm not gonna be around you, dude. If you're gonna treat people like that, I'm just no, no way. So you know, um, that's what I judge people on, and 
You know, it's who who is someone. I treat someone on who they are. So, anyway. <laughs>